Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be um, doing the brace posts. So basically, we'll show you an example, because I don't really know how to explain it. But this is kind of what they are. And plus, we've already done most of them, and we didn't film any of it. And then Mom reminded us that we need to film one. So basically, it's just this, so that the posts don't fall down when you stretch it or something like that. So yeah. Tighten it all up. Yeah. So let's go do the other one. Sorry for the horrible audio. Are you kidding me? We just changed it out. Oh, well, that battery's dead. Go grab me the other those. battery. We don't have any more I only those. got two more cuts. So plug that battery back up. Battery operated tools are. Tell you batteries are dead. Come on, don't cut my finger off. Let's cut my finger off. Don't let it fly! Yeah, safety third. Alright, uh, that one's gotta go. Alright, so the gate's going to go on this side, and so because of that, you want your wire that's going to connect these two to be up high, so that when the weight of the gate is pulling on it and trying to pull this post over, the wire is going to keep this post straight up. So that's the gist of what we're doing. We're about to drill a hole through here to put a... a dial pin that I just cut through the post. So the wire can stay. Yeah. And it holds the post. All the way through? All the way through on this. Oh, you hear that battery? Mm -hmm. All it's got to do is make it through. A couple more deals. This post is hard. Or else that bit just gets more out. Gosh. This post was smaller, so it went all the way through. Alright. So because we don't have any levels or anything like that, and we're not doing this correctly, we're going to uh, jerry-rig this ordeal and show you how we do that. So, we know this side's right, so we're going to put a hole in the middle here. You just go in as far as you want to, really, it don't matter. A couple uh, inches. Yeah. Get the hammer and the long uh, peg. Hand. Look, I moved my hand so. just in time because you about to take it off. Kaylee, move She's your hand. She's got her hand over it so she can feel when it comes through the pole. I just thought it would move her hand. Kaylee's got a pencil in her pocket. Maybe. Who said? 
Uh huh. Alright, let's line that up. Push it. Alright, so that's on there. On my level. What am I doing? Kaylee. Okay, Alright, so that's on there. 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 It's got a new battery, remember? But the other one had a new battery too. Well, that's true. So as long as... Back up. And now and you gotta kind of eyeball it here. Kaylee's uh, okay. obviously off a little bit there, but shut, shut, shut. it'll just pull don't, together. Don't talk about it. So <laughs> this right. is what you do. So All you right. basically I'm telling is it level? You. Sure. Okay. So then what you do is you take and you mark the top, and you mark the bottom and then you drill a hole pretty much in the center of that right there and this one does not have to be all the way through guys yeah this one's just going in the inch or two then you want to take your other piece these are very easily lost by the way yep like there it is and you just stick it until it's pretty much all the way through, but I'm stuck at hammering, so I'm still going to do that. It takes me forever. All right. Now we're going to take, and we're going to put it, oh, uh, beat that in on that end, which probably doesn't matter because Kaylee messed up on the measuring. But. Sure. So the reason why you need three is because you're going to nail one in there, <laughs> then you're going to have a couple, two, just Can like I this. Just nail one in. Uh, I'll show, show them real quick right now. And then you nail two like this, and this way your wire is not rubbing against the wood, it's rubbing against metal. So you don't really have to do this, but it's better to do this so that your wire doesn't just go straight into the wood and get super duper slack. <laughs> We 
wasted our money on these two inch uh, ones, but actually pretty good. Also, works pretty good as a gymnastics bar. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's Alright, yep. All right, where's the end? There it is. This side. There it is. Okay, so then, you take this along right here. Is this like just what we did over there? Alright, so you take this along and then go for cramp. that. Oh. And then the old man will grab it. Oh, got a cramp in my Take it to the... Rib. Right below Maria. And take it to the other side and hook it underneath those two things, that one thing that we just did. Right? Yeah. Uh, we're going wrong now. No. We want the, oh, okay. You want the, it the other way? The other way. on it so that it doesn't come undone. Then you're going to take it through this top hole and you're going to get all your slack out. This is for the straw. Then we're going to go around, back down through it. Kind of like a knot. Kind of twist it all up on there. Gonna wrap four, five, six times. And you wanna make sure you do it tight. And then we're gonna have Kaylee. No, wait, first I want to. Oh, you wanna do that first? First, next you're gonna need the inline strainer, strainer stretcher thing, handheld stretcher, pretty much. Where you're going down. Tighten it too much because we had to get the post good yet. The post is still pretty soft as you saw earlier. So we're not tightening it up a lot right now because we still got to tamp these posts in real good and let them set up for But if you had put concrete in here, you could have stretched it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, going cheap. rain we got in the last few days. This is like a pool kind of almost. And it's super duper soft. But that's how you do that and some of them are going to be corner ones like we showed you at the beginning of the video and some of them are going to be like this for the fence. Um, yep. But that's, that's pretty much it. it. So, 
All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Peace out.